Have you guys ever thought about using a tea to balance your hormones? Let's start with the first one. Have you heard of Vitex? I feel like I've talked about Vitex before, but Vitex tea, believe it or not, is a tea that actually boosts up your progesterone levels. Now think about your cycles for a minute, ladies. We know that we have estrogen and we have progesterone and that ratio is really what determines healthy hormone balance and the nature of what our periods are gonna look like. Whether we're gonna be like, yay, I've got my period, or oh God, I've got my period, right? So we want those progesterone levels balance. Vitex T does exactly that. And for many of my patients that are low in progesterone, that might be a starting point, taking two cups a day and seeing if we can gradually build those progesterone levels back up. Another tea that I like a lot is actually milk thistle. We know that milk thistle tea actually cleans the liver. So I've talked a ton, probably more than you want me to, about the liver and its role in hormone balance. And we know that the liver is the place that holds our toxins, holds stress, it's connected to gut function. And as that liver starts to kind of sputter like a car without a battery or, or without gasoline, we know that our hormones are next in terms of taking the hit. How do we protect our livers? Well, of course, we wanna have the right diet, we wanna make sure we're eating clean, putting clean products on ourselves, really watching our environment. But there is a tea, it's called milk thistle, that helps to balance our liver health and helps to detox the liver. And again, my general recommendation when I see somebody who's needing a little bit of liver support is at least two to three cups of milk thistle tea every single day. Don't forget, I post new videos every Thursday. Hit subscribe. Now here's the challenge with milk thistle. It actually comes from a flower family, right? So if you're somebody with a lot of allergies to flowering plants, you may not wanna use milk thistle, but you still wanna help your liver. Well, here's where tea number three comes into the picture, and that's dandelion tea. Dandelion tea also helps with sort of cleansing the liver. It's a liver purifier. You may have shopped the grocery store aisles and seen dandelion root off in sort of the herbal section. It was used in a lot of soups and sort of the old Chinese medicine recipes, but a lot of us don't have time for that, so taking dandelion tea might be your next best option. Red clover is another tea that helps very much with the fluctuations in hormones, right? So we've talked about teas that increase progesterone, we've talked about teas that help the liver. Red clover is coming in and dealing with the estrogen fluctuations or that loop phenomenon we've talked about when it comes to perimenopause and even menopause to a certain extent. So red clover tea is again something you could use to balance your estrogen level really help prevent over time estrogen from being really high, really low, back and forth, all over the place, leaving you feeling like you're spinning in a wheel that you can't control. And lastly, but certainly not least, this is an important one, is spearmint tea. Now spearmint tea, we've been recommending for a very long time because it lowers androgens. So androgens, remember, are those hormones like testosterone, DHT, free testosterone. Androgens cause acne and hair loss and are thought of most commonly with PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now, many people say, Dr. Taz, I can't have PCOS. I'm you know, 35, I'm not worried about having babies, or I'm 45 or I'm 55. Not true, guys. Here's the deal. There is a version of PCOS at every age in a woman's life. It is actually a metabolic issue, and that's where spearmint tea comes into the picture. Spearmint tea actually lowers insulin, helps balance androgens, can be our first step before we have to start thinking about all these herbs and medications to block androgen excess. So think about using spearmint tea. All right, that's five teas that are gonna help Balance your hormones if you're in perimenopause. Give it a try. Try to match it to the issue that you're having and know that there are answers to help balance your hormones naturally even if you're in perimenopause.